What we're seeing in the market for vehicle prices are, are largely being determined by inventory. There's so little of it. You know, if you go by a car dealership these days, uh, you either see a lot of asphalt or you see a lot of used cars in spaces where normally there would be new cars. So uh, what we see in terms of vehicle prices really stems from that fact that there's hardly any inventory out there. Um, traditionally, we've had 4 million of vehicles, cars and trucks on the ground at dealerships at any point in time. Well, right now, uh, we have about 850,000 on the ground. And if you're a dealer and you only have a fifth of, of the normal vehicles that, that you get, you kind of need to make your profit on one sale that you normally would do in five. My best advice is not to just show up at a dealership uh, and, and be prepared to buy that day, but to do your homework, kind of look around. You have a couple options as a consumer, but there's a couple things to think about. Some of the, the best tips for buying a car right now would certainly be uh, to pre-order your car if you can. I mean, it's going to take a lot longer for a vehicle to arrive, uh, but if you pre-order a vehicle, uh, not only will you potentially be able to spec the vehicle exactly the way you want with color and trims and options, um, but you may also get incentives that are set up just for pre-ordering a vehicle. Some automakers do have incentives that are only available if you pre-order this vehicle. And not only that, but when you do it, you can get the dealer to put in writing what your price will be when your vehicle comes in so that you may potentially avoid any sort of surprise markups on the price of the vehicle when, when the vehicle does arrive. If you have a trade, you now have more options than, than really you've ever had. I mean, there's several online uh, used car companies that are very aggressive at, at buying vehicles, whether it's CarMax or Carvana or others. Uh, they're, they're offering consumers some pretty aggressive prices because they need vehicles more than anyone else. You know, when, when dealers don't have new vehicles to sell, that really stops the supply of used vehicles coming back to market because most consumers bring a trade when they buy a new vehicle, they get rid of their old vehicle and those vehicles work their way through the system. But without new vehicle sales, places like CarMax don't really have that supply anymore of getting a vehicle. So they're very aggressive in what they offer. As a consumer, you could show up with four or five offers for your trade, you know, written offers uh, for what, what you could get that will also help you get the best value available for you with the dealership. Always, you know, check in and know your credit. Um, you may be able to find a, a good rate out there, but because uh, dealers right now do have an, a number of, of banks and, and institutions they work with that they can offer you a rate. Many times the dealer will offer a, a fairly aggressive rate for consumers on their loan uh, that will help, you know, the dealer wants to make profit on that, but also may find a better interest rate for a consumer, which is especially important right now when interest rates are going up. Historically, consumers that have traveled the furthest got the best deals. So what we would see is consumers who traveled 50 miles or further would, would pay the, the least amount for a vehicle. That's now inverted, actually. What we see is that consumers who travel the furthest pay the most, but the reason they're traveling is to find the exact vehicle that they want. So if you don't find what you're looking for, you may need to look in the next town over. In a lot of cases, you know, if you live in, in a big city, that sort of next city, that, that sister city, the secondary city that's sort of out uh, in the exurbs, sometimes you could find vehicles at, at those dealerships uh, that you can't find in other places, but be prepared. If you find what you want, you may end up paying more for it. Nearly all consumers in every state could do the entire transaction from their house. Uh, you know, I, I did it with my most recent vehicle purchase. Uh, I did everything online uh, from negotiating the price to selecting the, the trim and options uh, and, and even getting my, my credit approved so that in the end, the dealer actually brought the vehicle to my house. I signed a few papers and they then took the old vehicle away with them. The whole process uh, that day took about 10 minutes in my kitchen, uh, which was a very low stress environment. Uh, everything was worked out and, and it, it went extraordinarily well. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.